And we're back at the digital job site with the third video on using PhotoMatch and SketchUp to present ideas. The first two videos we imported this photograph and created a box that is the that represents the space this room occupies. So the next step, uh, let's add a little a feature or two here. I'm just going to grab the rectangle box and let's see, let's do this first. Grab the measure tool, measure down off this ceiling so we know we're going in the vertical plane and over here. And we can grab the rectangle tool and just draw, put this window in and we'll zoom down behind this plant. That should be about where the casing is. You can see now that we have a, a plane here that can be deleted. And then get rid of these guidelines here and there. Let's clean up our drawing a little bit. You can see how the digital window fits in with the photograph window depending on how you want features to show and uh, to show in the end when you present a model. So there's a space if we take out this room you can see how it you can see the floor there now you can see the real ceiling instead of the digital ceiling and uh, it gives kind of an idea of how to work these things out. One of the things that's that's going to come up here is you see how these planes in the photograph view are translucent and in the model view they're solid. And at some point we want our model to show up solid. And the way you toggle that on and off is to take go to the styles dialog box. Wait for that to come up. And we're going to edit. And what we want to do is um, uncheck this foreground photo dialog box. You can set the opacity of it here, how much it blocks out, or you can just stop it all together like that. And so you can see your model is going to blot out the background photo, which makes this complicated in that case because it blots out part of the chair and some of the other things. But when we build the model, we're going to want to block out this uh, thimble for the fireplace where it goes through the ceiling. And we want to blot out this brick to show what a bookcase would look like in this room. So there's just a little bit of information. You, you can implement that feature at either point. I'm going to turn it back to translucent to work with this at this point. So there we have uh, a little better idea of how the model is created. I'm just going to group these, group this room geometry so it doesn't uh, get complicated when we draw a bookcase. And I'm um, just going to keep this real simple. Let's just say we're going to make a bookcase that's uh, 120 inches wide and 24 inches deep. Give this the base for it. Let's just have a lower part of this that's oh, 32 inches and we'll draw an upper uh, an upper part for the bookcase with some books in it or something like that. Let's go back here six inches. Draw a line. Real basic. And pull this up to the ceiling. And control. I hit control. I'm going to push pull this down. Let's go eight inches. No, six inches is better. And we'll just push this face back in an inch. Give this thing a little bit of character. And then let's come in some distance from each side. Better yet, let's divide it by get rid of a guideline. Oops, <laughs> deleted the whole uh, comp the wall group there in a one fell swoop with the eraser. So I'm just going to take this line, divide it by, th let's divide it by three, and then we can come in here and when that turns green, you know you've got an endpoint. Just gonna ride this up. It's just simple modeling stuff. 
and your the focus of your project is likely going to be the uh, the details that are in the cabinet and that's kind of a whole other aspect of, of SketchUp that I'm not trying to cover here. So now we have uh, somewhat of a bookcase. Let's just uh, offset this two inches. Just using the offset tool and then uh, going two inches. Push this back in. Oops. I didn't want that move. I want to back that off, back that off. That would be a space where there might be some bookcases or something like that. And the bottom here would probably have uh, some doors on it. These are going to be pretty rough. Making some rectangles, spacing them out there, kind of give an idea, some doors, etc. And we can group this. We could make it a component. We could group it. I'm just going to make a group and throw some materials at it here. And let's make that some kind of a cherry wood bookcase. Just like that. And now we can put this back into our photo match. You can see how this shows up. So I'm going to go back in and go to the windows and the styles like we talked a lot about, about a little bit earlier. Solidify the foreground photo. Oops. Solidify the foreground photo like that. Close that dialog box. And now I'm just going to hide this wall group. And you can see where... Uh, the shortcomings of the photograph, when you take the photograph, the, the more you can plan ahead for this type of uh, condition, the better off you'll be because you can still see this thimble at the ceiling and the corner of the bookcase is not going to come anywhere near the corner of the, the um, table, but it looks like it does. And then you got this hearth sticking out. So if you can take the photograph to... Um, uh, to avoid those conditions, it'll um, it'll help you out a little bit in the actual presentation photograph. So there's our bookcase back in. If we go to View Hidden Geometry, you can see the walls. We can unhide the walls, and uh, we can also change the styles. Make this go back to a semi-opaque. Uh, just to see the check the positioning of things in the room, etc. But that's pretty much it. The way to use PhotoMatch for uh, presenting drawings and ideas. And uh, there's a lot of ways you can use this. There's uh, forums and blogs, uh, different things that um, can help uh, help you present your ideas and and um, Make them, make them meaningful to yourself and, and clients. I'm just going to check the depth of this bookcase. Because when it's in the room, it looks like it takes up more than 30 and a half inches right over here. It's pretty tough to see uh, just how that's going to sit in there. And after going through this process here, I'm thinking that the uh, it might be to an advantage to take a photograph from the other side of the room, present the the bookcase this direction. It might fit better in the in the photograph. But uh, to do that, you could just import another photograph and use the same model because it fits the scale, fits the room, fits the space, and you could just change the perspective without rebuilding your model. It would be a, um, a fairly straightforward process using the steps shown here to get that done. So hope that helps give you an idea of how the uh, SketchUp Photo Match works. And in the magazine article, uh, there's another application of it showing how a, a bookcase was designed for a room with two doors in it, etc. Thanks for watching and your interest in the digital job site.